in this video we are going to create database also we will look into the properties of database and what are the default databases installed the time of postgresql installation we will see the properties like database owner number of objects in the database database is collection of objects objects are like tables stored processors use etc in postgresql we can create database using two ways one is using create db tool this is host level tool another way is using another way is sql command that is create database database name and other properties syntax for create database in postgresql is see this is the syntax to create database in postgresql see create database is common and name name of the database that we have to give this is the owner name we have to mention owner name if you do not mention the owner name then it will take the current logged in username as database owner and other properties are template encoding settings collation settings table space and the connect yellow connections connection limit number of connections to be allowed to connect the database and other properties template to create database user must have super user or have special create db privileges now we create the database with the name nyc prd01 that is new york production server number 1 open the terminal switching to postgres user psql we are going to create database with the name create database nyc prd01 here we are not mentioning database owner name postgres will be the owner name of the this database enter see database created successfully to check the database created or not we give the meta command that is backslash l it will list the list of the databases which includes default databases as well as the user created databases see we have created now see here we have not given any access privileges to this database see see it, it is blank okay another way to check this is select star from pg underscore database semicolon see this is this is the database press q to quit from this console if you want to get only if you want to get only particular database it is backslash l then you the database name nyc prd yeah nyc prd o d 1 and press enter See the same output again. Database name, owner name, and the list of users have the permissions on this database. 
see this is the first database because here no users has been listed here press q to keep from this you want to get only the database names select select that name from pg underscore database semicolon see as of now only these four databases are there in in the PostgreSQL server now create another database with different user as owner name create database L O N P R O D one owner web admin it has been created successfully to check the list of the databases with the properties do backslash l see before we created database with owner as postgres now we have created another database with a different owner name that is web admin another way to check only for that particular database details database name this is the owner name here it will show the list of users have the access privileges to this database press q to quit another way to get the databases information in postgresql is we will quit from this postgresql client tool backslash q now check list from host level psql space hyphen l see the same output has been now again press q to quit another way to create database is using create db tool create db and give the database name as temp prod one and press n it has been created successfully to check whether the database has been created or not type psql hyphen n see here it has been created successfully temp prod one and postgres why postgres because here the username is postgres these are the two ways to create a database in postgresql server to drop a database from postgresql server give the drop database drop database and give the database name that is temp prod 1 and press it it drops from the postgresql server see here it's successful to confirm whether it's dropped or not again you rc again run the query select that name from pg underscore database semicolon see the the database drop the permanent this is all about create database and drop database for more updates please subscribe to the channel thank you